guys i hope you can see we haven't even recorded anything because it's too dark we're trying to catch bait on fish bites dude it's like a small hook it's probably like a size one yeah hook. it's a size one hook. 30 oh, pound line the little thumb set the hook Yo, this is here let me let me move mines out the way oh my god i'm snagged On fish bite. I think we're good. Is he heavy? It's heavy yeah. Then it's probably a drum, huh? Yeah. I guess I'm the. Where's he? Oh, go go to the right. I guess I'm the drum king. Drum king. This is definitely like on 30, 30 pound. Monster. Yeah, that is thirty pound. Good. Yeah. I think oh, now you're under. Hey, I'm gonna go get the net. Guys, this is chaos. Hard to record. Come on. Ugh. Why is it stuck? Huh? Ugh. It has to be a big drum, bro. Yeah, it has to be, huh? crazy though how a big old fish piece on little thing like that yeah for it's the smallest piece of fish pipe probably the size of my nail <laughs> and a size one circle hood we we're just trying to catch bait with the fish bites for we were casting for some whiting croaker Sand trout, and then he hooks onto that big fish. Y'all see him pulling? Flames, ain't safe, flames safe, flames safe. Don't give him too much slack. What is that? Right. Yeah, I see him. What is that? Bro, is that a stingray? No it, it might be a stingray. No, it's a drum. Keeper. It's a keeper drum. Baby drum huh? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Don't let me go down. Hold on, hold on. I think it's like by the rock. I see him, I see him. It's a keeper drum. Like bring him over here. Come on. Yes. On a fish bite. Let's go. It's like a 30 inch drum. Ah. That's crazy. 30 inch drum? Look at that, guys. On the fish bite on a size one circle hook. Oh my God, Chris. Cool. Let's go. Dude. First catch of the day. Nice, bro. Good stuff. Look at that. Look oh that my God. Look at that hook, y'all. That is literally, look, compared to my thumb. On that little piece of fish bite. What a catch. All right, Chris has decided he's not going to keep it. What? That is a crazy catch. 30 pound mono. That's a nice drum, dude. He's drumming. Yeah, here. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, nice black drum right there. Those are usually feeding on the bottom, so those are the ones that you'll catch the most on. Fish bites, crab, shrimp. Nice catch. That's actually a good size, man. Nice job. Oh, yeah, he's ready. Nice. Let's go, Chris. Hey, jack him up. Look at that. Chris Cool caught a whiting on the same fish, but he caught that black drum in. And that is a perfect bait right there. Stocking up on bait. Sun's about to start coming out. We need to catch at least three more baits. 
so that we can recast and have a better chance at catching a bull rig because they're eating fresh bait, fresh dead bait. guys we're recasting i got a big chunk of whiting here with a fish bite chris has the head with a fish bite 40 pound braid i mean 40 <laughs> pound leader 20 pound braid one ounce weight and i got the spider weight big announcement is coming soon about the leaders hey y'all stay tuned but right now we're focused on catching some bull reds so we're gonna cast Give me some, give me some. Look at that. I want the fresh cut, cut bait. just cut the bait out. You want? Yeah. Let's go. Heck yeah. Just cut the bait out. Let's go. Yeah, that's a boring. Let's go. Going right. I think he's on top though. Guys, that was on the fresh whiting that we just casted out right now. Man, he took off with it. I wish I could have seen that bike. He's coming in towards us. I bet you he's gonna have another run. I'll be back. I'm gonna get the net. Let's go. Bull red? Bull red, yes, sir. Nice bull red. Ooh. See the wake right there? Yeah, that was speed, bro. Let's go. Got a drum and a bull red on the board. Yes, sir. Look at those hay shakes. Man, come on, come on. You guys see it right there? Look at that. Hold the camera when it's time. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, okay. I'll listen. I'll listen. Uh, I can probably get him in for this. Yeah. Now I want to give up. You guys see it over here? I got the, I got the camera. Oh, you got. It. Let's go. Look at that. A big healthy bull weed. Yo, that is a big one, bro. Look at that, guys. That is a big bull red. 
Oh my god. We gotta be quick. Take him off the hook and release. Look at that hook set right there, guys. Perfect. Nice bull rig. Look at that fan. That's a big one, dude. in 10 minutes guys that we just casted that whiting probably less than 10 minutes yeah. to be honest i guess Thanks. you can say that's key to catching big bush fresh bait yeah you need fresh bait we're gonna try to catch more bait and toss more oh Ooh, i'm exhausted proper intro but we already have one black drum and a bull red on the board we have all the rods out right now Chris was casting his last one and we're just gonna wait for a bite we got crab mullet whiting and fish bites out there we have to get more the bull red run is at its peak right now everybody's catching them left and right at the beach front here at the dike everywhere so we're here we got everything out we just need some more bait fresh bait because that's what they're hitting Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know there's like 80% of y'all that just watched and you're not subscribed. So please, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 5K. <laughs> Bro, what? All right, guys, the bike slowed down. So I decided to show y'all what you need to bring when you want to come out here and target big fish and this is all the stuff we bring. What I'm showing you is the priorities. You need a good rod holder. These are the types that we use. This is a PVC pipe. It's about 50 inches long. And uh, I mean, you could buy some as well, like at Academy, FTU, uh, Bass Pro Shops. But sometimes you, you'll find some of these out here while you're fishing. And you need some long ones because you're going to put them in between the rocks and stuff like that. So. Yeah, some good rod holders. All right, next, you need some of these long pliers things. I think they're called D-hookers. Helps you reach deep inside the mouth. If the fish swallows the hook or he is gut hooked, this helps you get the hook out easily without you trying to put some pliers in its mouth and stuff. These are really good. I think this is a, uh, I don't know, it says crazy shark here. I guess you can use these for sharks, but I've had bull red swallow the hook and I get it out easily like that. He is unharmed and released safely. So, long pliers like this. All right, now I'm gonna show you the net. You need a long net so that you can scoop the fish up. You know, the rocks right here aren't really that flat. They're all slanted sideways and you can easily slip into the water. So you need a, a long net. And you need one that's very stiff like this one. This one's very stiff. You'll find these like at Academy. You'll find some good ones at Bass Pro. Any fishing tackle store, you'll find some. This is a pretty good one. It's a big one. So you see a big fish fits in here. You can't really get one that's small like that. This is a perfect one. We've been using this one for a while already. And it's landed a lot of big fish. So 
So this one's really good. Any solid nets will get the job done. Now, one of the most important things you gotta bring out here if you're targeting big fish. Let me show you. You need a chair. You're gonna be out here waiting for a long time. You probably won't get a bite in like two hours, four hours. It'll take time sometimes to get a bite. You're gonna get tired. Bring a chair so you can sit down, eat some snacks, drink something, and just wash your rods. You need a chair. I highly recommend it. All right, now for the setups. This is the basic setup that we always like to throw. I made, I made this rig myself. It's a, the, it's a bottom rig with a small little hook and a two ounce weight. And this is where I put the fish bite and I try to catch bait with this one. This is strictly for catching bait. All I do is try to catch bait to put on the big rods. So this is a 4,000, no, this is a 5,000 with a seven foot ugly stick, but a 4,000 works well. I highly recommend you get a setup like this so you can start catching your own bait and you don't really have to buy bait like that. Use fish bites easy or shrimp also it's another similar setup seven foot pen rod with a 4000 pen fierce and this is a popping cork right here or you can use a float you can put fish bite or shrimp you can catch bait too same way trout if they're biting both really good combos highly recommend or you could also just fish on the side while you wait for the big rods to go off but now let's talk about the big rods all right, right here, we got a 10 foot ugly stick big water rod. This is a medium heavy, I think moderate action. It could cast, I think three to six ounce lures. So this is perfect for throwing out baits, leaving them out there. I think on this rod right now, there's a four ounce weight plus the bait, probably like six ounce. And then you have a 6,000 pin pursuit. This is really good, holds a lot of line. I think there's 30 pound braid on there right now, 450, I'm not sure, but this will get the job done. As you can see, we've caught a lot of reds, black drum on this. Crisco actually landed his first jack on this setup right here, so you know it'll get the job done. And of course, the rod holder is right there. So, good setup. I'm gonna show you my setup over there. All right, right here we have a nine foot ugly stick big water in the same action as the other one. I think this one casts one ounce less than the other one. And this is a 6,000 pen fierce. As you can see, I caught a bull red on it already. It'll get the job done. I hooked up to jacks. You can land on jack on these. It's a good rod, good setup. 50 pound braid, gets the job done. And of course, we got the long rod holder here that goes all the way in there. Probably like a five foot rod holder or a 50 inch rod holder. Really good. So this is all you need if you want to come out here and cast for big fish. So that way you're prepared. Please, please don't forget the D hookers, your net, and your rod holders. And of course, don't forget your rods. So yeah, hopefully we get a bite. If not, till next time, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.